Bayou Time Sports is brought to you by Terrible General Health Systems Community Sports Institute in conjunction with Barker Honda. Mike to tell you here, the Pro Football Camp, and we're here with Dr. David Elias. And Dave, uh, man, we close to 500. Yeah. I mean, that's unbelievable. We've seen the numbers continually grow, and yeah. that's got to be a great testament to what you've done but, you know, the building blocks was set with your brother Albert. And, man, he got to be smiling today to see this type turnout here yeah. uh, for the pro football camp. Yeah, no doubt. And first, thankfully, that he kept the weather away because there was a bad <laughs> storm. So uh, he played with our minds a little this morning. But, uh, yeah, it's unbelievable. We were, you know, last year we had, I think, right at 300 people. And it was a year after COVID. And I was like, all right, the camp's arrived. And I, and I said, well, you know, it may be just the kids hadn't, they've been locked up. That's why our numbers were up. And then this year we had over 200 pre-registered and we were like, man, we are expecting a lot, but to get almost 500 kids is unbelievable. Uh, yeah, you know, he started this camp, I think it was 80 people. We were begging people to come. And, uh, you know, his, he always said this, I mean, he he's always said this was his favorite day of the year. You know, this is a guy who goes to Super Bowls, Pro Bowls, everything, and this was his favorite day of the year. Albert's goal was to have a top-notch camp that was affordable. It, with inflation, you know, a camp like this probably cost $300. We've kept it at $50. And uh, a lot of the kids, we now have these scholarships that have been formed through sponsorship. One thing unique about this camp, it's a 501c charity camp. So everything that's raised is given back to the community. So the community helps put the camp on, but, but we, give, we give it all back to the community. We give, we've given over $40,000 of college scholarship money to seniors who attend the camp over the last five to 10 years. Uh, we donate to local high schools and colleges and Nichols and uh, charities, cancer foundations. I mean, we've done so much. So, you know, I think that would probably make Albert pretty proud too. And for Nichols, the fact that they're out here seeing this school, seeing these great new facilities, hopefully these kids will choose to, you know, they, it opens their eyes to this community. Think about, Dave, from Louisiana Line Camp, Manning, and then here with yours, over 2,000 kids yeah. from across the country, uh, across South Louisiana, get to step on this campus. Yeah. And for some, most of them, it's the first time. And so not only does it help them to come to these camps to take their level of sports activity to another level, but you know, for most of these young men, they're not gonna play pro football or college football. It gets them an opportunity to see this campus. And, and that's a big part of this camp. Without a doubt. And look, this started as a, you know, we were, those camps are bigger camps. They get, they get people from a lot of different states. You know, we're now growing. We got kids from Mississippi, Texas, uh, Alabama. I think we had a kid from Georgia sign up too. So we are expanding. But for the most part, this is a regional camp, you know, in the five parish, six parish area. So, yeah, these are the kids that really see Nichols and see the community that, that this may be their first time to see it. So hopefully it does open their eyes to Nichols. One of the things, too, that it brings is an opportunity for a lot of the former players that were connected to Albert maybe in the past or LSU players. Uh, John Forquet just walked in. Uh, he's been with us for a couple of years to do this, too. Also to kind of give some expertise to young men on to take their level of game yeah. you know another level so to speak to because i've done it at that level yeah. so to speak and i can tell you maybe a tip or two to help your overall game yeah i mean the fact that you know these are albert's players most of them are retired now so but they they're actually better they've been when they coached here as players they didn't coach a lot right they stood around and they had other you know things to do worried about their own camp now they come here and they coach and they are they are in there, they are grabbing kids, talking to them, pulling them to the side. And they come every year, you know. I send them a text to come, I don't bug them, and they just show up. Mark Roman just walked in, just drove in from Houston, you know. The fact that he has the. Yeah, Jarvis the, Green. Jarvis just Green walked just walked in. The fact that they still have the heart to 
come back. They know what's out there. They know that they were in this position. They went to the same high schools that are out here. The fact that they come out here is, is really a testament still to Albert, but I think what this camp has grown to be, they, they, they want to be part of it. Dave, thanks so much for joining us. And man, we appreciate what you do to keep this alive in the community. Uh, and you think about with the three camps, it's an ec economic impact of three and a half million dollars yeah. to this area. But it keeps the dream of Albert alive. And I think that's yeah. what's great. Yeah, like I say, this is a, a charity camp. We're a little different than the other ones. And uh, we just want kids to come out here and, and learn something and have a great time. And, you know, you know, we can't put it on without the, the staff we get. We got, you know, Ann Miller, we got to talk about her. Uh, she, you know, she's the camp coordinator has, and my whole staff, you know, they had 50 of them there checking kids in. There's no camp that checks in kids quicker than, than this no, one. It's, pretty quick. it, it's amazing. And, and you know, what's, what's also amazing, we, we probably have over a hundred people that took off today to go volunteer. These aren't coaches. These are just organizers that help with this, with the testing, with feeding them, with helping the campers. You've got all the trainers that come out here. Jerry Blackwell has been coming out here for 15 years now from Thibodeau High. You've got... Uh, Jerry's getting a W-2 from here. That's right. <laughs> You've got, uh, you know, what, Coach Rod? Uh, I mean, what can you say about that man? He's been here from the start. He now has coaches calling him to coach the camp. So, you know, there's 25, 30 head high school coaches out there from Lafayette to New Orleans to Baton Rouge, too. It's not just local. So just the, the things that – the people that make this camp work is just, just amazing. Thank you, Doc. We really appreciate everything you do for the community. Thank you for everything you do. Appreciate it.